Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare today, and it is November 3rd. Starting off, we have the American Heart Association looking at links between melatonin use and issues with cardiovascular disease. After looking at 130,000 individuals with five-year histories of insomnia, they looked at those who were taking melatonin for over a year and those who weren't and what happened to them over time. Those who were taking melatonin for over a year had higher rates for heart failure, hospitalizations, and nearly double the rate for death. Moving on to a JAMA article on teen vaping that analyzed 115,000 teens in the United States between 2020 and 2024 and found that vaping is actually on the decrease over time. While the number of teens who are actually vaping has decreased, those who are actually vaping daily has nearly doubled from 15% to 29% in four years. And those who have tried to quit but failed has jumped from 28% to about 53%. Before we get into the last two studies, if you want to stay up to date with the latest medical and healthcare news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack. You'll get a daily email of all of the links to the articles, an in-depth analysis, and it's free. Moving on, we have a new study, this time out of Nature Medicine, looking at Alzheimer's disease and exercise linked to decreasing it. They tracked nearly 300 individuals who are at risk for Alzheimer's and tracked them over five years to see what metrics were improving their scores the best. They found that those who had high amyloid plaques, which are kind of a key sign for Alzheimer's, they found that those who were walking 3,000 to 7,500 steps per day had a slower progression of symptoms and better cognitive test scores. Moving on to a little bit of news, LA Lilly, which is one of the major companies that makes GLP-1-like drugs like Zipbound and Manjaro, has announced they're opening up a new facility in Europe in order to help supply the chain over there as well as in the United States, and it's going to be starting construction in 2026. That's all the major news for today. I will see you tomorrow for the rest of the news.